going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cleveland. So as always, I hope this video finds you all in the absolute best of health and spirits wherever you might be. Now we are in fish room number two, y'all. We're in the white fish room. So it's been a little bit of time. We've had some changes going on, mainly with the size of our fish. So I want to give you guys an update on this 225 gallon aquarium right here. Now this aquarium has two Kaleberry peacock bass, which are actually getting really nice in size, coloring up really, really beautifully. We also have in here a gold garami, gold giant garami, definitely growing. We have the albino silver arowana up top. And then we also have in here our tire track eel. Now, He's so big. yeah, let's see if I could make it to where you don't see the reflection as much. Does that help a little bit? There we go. That's a little bit better. So um, I'm gonna close this other one as well. So we have some amazing fish in here that has definitely increased in size. I should have dropped a tire track eel down there. He'd have made an appearance. But check out the kale berries. Those are the ones that I really wanted to emphasize on. They look absolutely stunning. I cannot wait for them to double, if not triple in size, quadruple in size, all of that. But I can't wait for them to keep growing because they just look better and better the bigger and bigger they get. So let's go ahead and feed them. Look at them. They are not shy. And uh, John at Twins Aquarium, he did an amazing job of making sure that these two bass came on pellets. Some, sometimes you'll get these bass and they only want to eat live foods, feeders, things like that. And that's definitely a pain. But these guys, he said they were on pellets and they are 100% on pellets. Our golden giant garami is over there eating some. The, I know the tire track eel is going to come out and grab some. The silver arowana is a little skittish because she's right on the tank with the um, with the camera and the light. So he's definitely not going to eat. But uh, he's also on the pellets as well, as well as tilapia. But like I said, he definitely don't like to have the, the camera in his face. So we won't be able to catch him eating on camera. But nonetheless, it might have been a light. Let's throw in some more. All right. So at least that's some for the tire track eel, as well as the air one. As you can see, he's a little jumpy. Um, typically, we don't really record so much and, um, and feed him at the same time. But nonetheless, I wanted to give you guys an update on this aquarium. You might notice we got some roots hanging in the back. That is for our pothos that's growing at the top. Now let's see if you grab some of this food. There you go. I'm gonna grab one pellet now. No, you gonna skip over that one? Okay, I'll act like that then. But nonetheless, we got the roots growing inside the top of the tank. I think it actually adds a nice little touch to it as a nice little element. It's gonna be pulling uh, the nutrients and the nitrates out the water. So that's pretty sick. And here comes a tire track eel. Now watch how this tire track eel just goes to town. About to go to town on all those pellets. As soon as you see the other ones over there. As soon as you see them. Uh-huh, there you go. Yep, move out the way, everyone. There you go. Bam. 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 Get that last one. Bam. Bam. <laughs> and he wants more. So that tire track eel, we definitely... Um, enjoy this tire track eel has certainly grown in size very personable has no problems with eating at all as you can see so that's pretty sick there we go get some more pellets in there for him so yeah we really enjoy this aquarium it has definitely progressed into one of our favorites the stocking in here is absolutely perfect. I have the lid secured so we won't have to worry about, see that screw right there, stay right there, that screw right there. So I have screws 
on the lid, screwing it down so this arrow cannot jump out and push the lid off. That's how we lost our black arrow. He managed to just push the lid off. Managed to just push the lid off when he jumped out. So we weren't going to risk that. Matter of fact, this was already screwed down beforehand. Didn't really think that the other one was going to be able to jump out. But this guy is secured in place. He's not going to get out. We have three sponge filters on this aquarium. The larger ones are um, compatible with 125 gallons. So we have two of those, so that's 250, and then the other one is for 60 gallon. So um, sponge filters, guy. Sponge filters is really doing an amazing job of keeping this aquarium clean. Um, other than that, we're gonna probably wrap it up. Just wanted to give you guys an update. We'll, we'll constantly give you guys an update as things change with this aquarium, as the fish get bigger. Yeah, Papa, good morning. As the fish get bigger, as anything progress, anything change. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure that notification bell is hit. And um, everybody, if y'all like the video, like the video and share the video. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace. So we almost at 20k. We almost at 20k. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the content, help us get to that 20k. Also, follow us over on TSD with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel behind the scenes. You get to see all the behind the scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.